Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. After discussing about the instruments needed for LA administration, today we are going to talk about various techniques involved in the administration of LA for the mandibular region. So today we are going to talk about four types of blocks. The inferior alveolar nerve block, the long lumbacal nerve block, the lingual nerve block, and lastly the mental nerve block. First of all, let's discuss about the difference between the block and the infiltration. For a nerve block, it involves the placement of the LA adjacent to the major branch of the nerve so that we are anesthetizing from that point until the terminal branch of the nerve. So, all areas innervated by the nerve will be anesthetized. However, for nerve infiltration, it involves the placement of the needle at the terminal branches of the nerve so that the operator only anesthetizes the area that he wants to work on. Today we will be talking about the aspiration syringe. First we will talk about parts of the syringe. Here is the thumb ring to hold our thumb. Next is the harpoon to engage the rubber part of the LA cartridge. First, we will be inserting the LA cartridge into the harpoon of the syringe. Once we engage, turn clockwise of the syringe to ensure that the harpoon is tightly engaged to the rubber of the cartridge. After that, we will be inserting the dental needle. After loading the dental needle, we will check the aspiration. In the mouth, the aspiration should be done after the needle is inserted into the injection site. But now for the sake of the video, we will be able to see bubble when we are aspirating. The first block that we are going to discuss is the inferior alveolar nerve block, which is also the most common nerve block used in mandibular procedures. The inferior alveolar nerve is the branch of mandibular nerve, which is also the third branches of trigeminal nerve. The nerve lies within the mandibular canal, which supplies the posterior teeth after it enters the canal. Then, the nerve exits at the mental foramen at premolar regions, which supplies the premolar as the mental nerves. After that, the nerve continues anteriorly to supply the canines and also the incisors as the incisive nerve. There are three different techniques used for inferior alveolar nerve block. The first is the classical technique, second the akinosi technique, and lastly the galgas technique. For patients with mouth opening problems like Christmas, we prefer the akinosi technique. First, we will talk about the instruments needed for inferior alveolar nerve block. First, we will use the mouth mirror to locate the site of the injection, a long needle for the injection, a cartridge of LA, and lastly, the syringe. We will talk about how do we approach the area of injections and landmarks for our inferior alveolar nerve block. First, we will palpate and feel the anterior border of the ramus and the internal oblique ridge. We will stretch the soft tissue with our thumb to expose the pterygomandibular raphae and fossa at this region. Then, we will approach our needle of injection at the contralateral premolar, which is 1 cm above the occlusal plane. Our thumb will be used as the reference plane, which is about the middle of the thumb. The depth of injection is 20 to 25 mm touching bones. If no touching bone is occurred, then we have to reposition the needle. After giving the inferior alveolar nerve block, we can also give the lingual nerve block. Upon withdrawal of our needle, continuously deposit certain amount of LA at this region so that we can anesthetize the lingual nerve which is close to the inferior alveolar nerve so that we are able to anesthetize the anterior two of the tongue the floor of the mouth and also the lingual mucoperiosteum at this region. Do not reposition the needle when the needle are still in the soft tissue as this will cause injuries to the soft tissue. Now we will be demonstrating aspiration during an inferior alveolar nerve block with lingual nerve block. First, instruct the patient to open wide and palpate the anterior border of the ramus with our thumb. Slide down to feel the internal oblique ridge. 
and then the soft tissue is stretched to make sure that the lower border of the thumb is on top of the occlusal plane. The middle of the thumb will be our point of insertion, which is 1 cm above the occlusal plane. Then the needle will be approached from contralateral premolar, insert up to half to two thirds of the needle into the lateral of the pterygoid mandibular raphe, and touch bone. Now, aspiration will be done by pulling the thumb ring of the syringe. Once we aspirated, the rubber tip of the cartridge will be moved backwards. Make sure that there is no blood is observed within the cartridge, indicating that the aspiration is negative and the needle is not in any blood vessels. If the aspiration is positive, injection and aspiration has to be repeated after changing the LA cartridge and proceed only when aspiration is negative. Now, they proceed about half the cartridge into the injection site. Once half the cartridge is given, withdraw the needle slowly while depositing about a quarter of LA continuously to anesthetize the lingual nerve. Once it is done, we can withdraw the needle fully. The nerve block that we are going to discuss is the long buccal nerve block, which can be located distal and buccal to the last molar. This is to anesthetize the buccal soft tissue adjacent to the mandibular last molars. Next, the long buccal nerve block. The mouth mirror can be used to locate the site of the injection, the short needle, a cartridge of LA, and lastly, the syringe. For majority of the cases, long buccal nerve are given together with the inferior alveolar nerve block, so a long needle is used. Now we are going to give demonstration on long buccal nerve block. The operator will use the index finger to stretch and retract the soft tissue of the patient. Then the needle will be positioned distal to the distal buccal cusps of the last tooth and parallel to the posterior teeth. Then insert the needle until bone is touched. Once touching bone, Inject about a quarter of the cartridge into the side of injection and the nerve block is complete. The last nerve block that we are going to talk about is the mental nerve block. The mental nerve is the terminal branch of inferior alveolar nerve which exists at the mental foramen region which can be located at the premolar regions at the mandible. With this nerve block, we are able to anesthetize the canine the premolar and also the incisors, as well as the lower lips of the mandible. Now we will talk about the instruments needed for a mental nerve block. First, we use the mouth mirror to locate the site of the injection, a short needle, a cartridge of LA, and lastly, the syringe. Now we are going to give the demonstration on mental nerve block. After positioning the patient, the patient is required to stay in a chin down position and the operator will use the index and thumb finger to retract the lower lip and to expose the true sulcus. Then the needle is approached from 15 to 20 degrees to the tooth in between first and second premolars in order to touch the bone. The local anesthetic agent is being injected until quarter of the cartridge is used or until a soft tissue stretching is present. Mm. After withdrawing the needle, massage the area extra orally until no ballooning is present to spread the LA solution and the mental nerve block is completed.